Sophie Bell after adoption. Um, after Adoption is a charity that finds adoptive families for children who are in the care system who aren't able to live with their birth family and then we support those adoptive families for as long as they need us. The charities that do similar to what we do, we're all trying to achieve the same thing, we're trying to get children out of care and into adoptive families. Um, what we do that's slightly different is that we also provide support to um, adults who are adopted as children and birth parents, birth relatives of children who've been adopted. Um, I, I don't actually drink tea. Um, I have about four coffee, four coffees. I have about four sugars in my coffee, so um, I tend to stick to water. My favourite moment fundraising wise was when we were selected as the beneficiary charity of um, the last ever series of Big Brother on Channel 4, which was amazing coverage, uh, it raised awareness for the charity on a national scale which was, which was fantastic and uh, raised 60 grand um, towards our work. Um, and then more on sort of a day to day scale, there's favourite moments all the time because you know when we find a family for a child that we've been searching for and um, you know families that tell us that we've, we've really helped them, so that's, that's a really nice feeling as well. I would recommend firstly Timpson. Timpson, um, we are the corporate charity for um, Timpson and they've been incredibly supportive over the last few years and their aim in partnership with us is to um, roll out and make available to all adoptive families in the UK our parenting programme Safe Base um, which, which would be absolutely amazing because we, we really believe that all adoptive families need that kind of support so, so they've been fantastic. Um, secondly I would say Slater and Gordon Lawyers We've done um, some work with their family law department. They, again, have been really supportive. Um, they really get what we're trying to do as a charity. Um, and, and they're a, a great company, some great people there. Thirdly, I would say um, Future Pro Manchester. Again, they have been um, really supportive of our charity, which is fantastic. And um, we were their partner charity for the Made in Manchester Awards earlier in the year. Um, and we're hoping to work with them on sort of some other things this coming year. So I would recommend them as well as a good company. It's a bit of a cop out, but I would say, um, in terms of influential people in Manchester, I would say the people of Manchester. Um, the people that do business here, the people that live here, the people that come and socialise here. Um, Manchester is an amazing city, and without everybody that, that does all those things, it wouldn't be as it is now, so I think they're pretty influential. I would say firstly John Timpson and his family, um, the amount of, um, of work they've done for children, the benefit of ch children and young people is quite amazing really, both personally and um, corporately as well. Um, just a, a, a lovely family and also the staff at Timpson, um, really lovely as well. I would say the people I work with, after adoption, um, a lovely bunch of people and they just really do want to make a difference which is a bit of a cliche but it is true that they just want to make a difference to, to people's lives. And thirdly, I would say Matt at Online Ventures. I think to be successful you need to have an interest in people, be interested in other people. Um, you need to work hard and have a good attitude and be enthusiastic about what you do and I think that will shine through. For lunch I would say either the Banyan Tree or the Wharf in Castlefield which is where we're based and for dinner I would say the Northern Quarter Restaurant. The Manchester Business Breakfast Club which we are a member of, have been for a few years. Um, they're a great bunch of people if you're happy to get up um, and into town for 7 o'clock in the morning. Future Pro Manchester again and also I've been to a couple of downtown events as well that have, have been really good for us.